Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a solo hammock overnighter over top of a mountain creek. So as you can see, I've got my hammock set up. Getting that set up is a little bit tricky because I have to kind of tippy toe across back and forth on top of the rocks so I don't get my feet wet. But I do have my tarp configured. I'm most likely going to leave it open just like this all night long. My under quilt is on there. The only thing that's missing is my top quilt which is still in my backpack. I don't want that to fall out into the water. So I'm gonna leave it in there until later on tonight when I crawl in. And my bug net is hanging off the suspension right now. So I do still have to put my bug netting on the hammock. And I'll do that later on when I do crawl in for the night. But right now I do need to get my cooking stuff kind of set up. I have an area over here where I'd like to do my cooking and relaxing and I have been here before so I know how this whole system works and how it sets up. I do have a fire pit just over here. I want to get all my stuff collected, get it over there and then start on collecting firewood. All right guys, so there's actually a small pile of firewood right here, probably about a dozen pieces or so. This is actually from me in the winter time, so I totally forgot that I put this here. Over this winter, I did camp over here in my tent and uh, this must be the leftover from it. So that's a pretty cool score when you forget that, uh, that you have some firewood laying around. So I'm gonna bundle this up, bring it back over to the hammock and uh, continue looking for some more wood and some birch bark and whatnot because I am going to be lighting a small fire to keep the bugs away. I'm also going to be cooking some of my food over the fire. So this is, a, this is a good find. I totally forgot about this. So I'm going to bundle this up, bring it back over, and then continue looking for some more wood. Okay, so here's where I had my fire over this past winter, just a few months ago. And there are some usable pieces in here, so I'll probably gather up these as well. But as far as the big logs, I'm going to leave them here because I do come back here different times of the season. And there's a perfect tent spot right there, and I do use these logs for a bench. 
So I think I am going to leave those alone, but I may collect some of this stuff and bring it back over towards the hammock. Uh, some of you guys might actually recognize this location. So I had my MSR Hubba tent pitched right on at the edge of the creek. And we got a little dusting of snow. I believe it was the beginning of winter time. So definitely a good find. Uh, totally forgot about the, the little pile of firewood over there. So I'm happy to have that. So not a whole lot more prep to do. Just a couple logs around here, a couple sticks I can see sitting on top of the rocks in the river. I want to gather all that up. And then around this whole area, there's a lot of yellow birch and it is just shedding all of its bark. So I'm just going to gather a big handful of that, bring it back over. I am going to light a small fire now and then keep feeding it throughout the day. And then in the evening, I'll get it bigger and hotter for cooking. But uh, right now I need something for smoke because there is quite a few little black flies buzzing around. They're starting to drive me nuts. So gather up some of this, gather some yellow birch back over to the hammock and then light that fire. Okay guys, so this is the yellow birch tree and this tree is always shedding its bark. Always, any time of the year you walk through the forest, you'll find some yellow birch that's just, it looks like a hairy tree and it's just always shedding its bark. This is excellent stuff to collect for fires and it does not hurt the tree to peel off the loose outer layer. Sometimes you can just take your whole hand and kind of brush across it and just pull off a big handful of this stuff. This stuff needs to be completely dry in order to light. It's a little bit different than your regular birch bark, like your paper birch bark, where that stuff can actually be a little bit damp. This stuff I find needs to be totally dry. So if it is a wet day, grab it, put it in your pocket while you're hiking, and it should be good later on in the day. But for now, this stuff is baking in the hot sun. I'm gonna gather up a, a little bit of it, not a whole lot, just enough to light the fire. And, uh, and there's, like I said, there's all kinds of trees around this area that have this, so. We've got fire starter, we've got twigs, we've got firewood. Let's get that fire going. All right, so one thing that I like to do when I go hiking and backpacking, especially in areas like this, I like to pack all my food inside of my pots and cups. And then when I take the cup out of the bag, so this cup goes to this bag, when I take it out of there, I turn it upside down, invert it, and I dump all the food inside of the bag. That way I've got these little sacks full of food. So in here I've got some dried cranberries, I've got some apricots, I even have a couple dried prunes. So I've got all fruit in this little bag, and this bag I can clip onto my hammock. I can click onto the outside of my under quilt and just hang it. This bag I've got my dinner stuff, so I have mushrooms, yellow pepper, red pepper, and it's all neatly in there. And then inside of my kettle itself is full of food and other stuff for supper as well. So I'm just going to empty out all these food items, get them inside of the little drawstring bags, set those off to the side. And then I do need to boil up a kettle of water because I do need fresh water. And that smoke is driving right in my face. So I'm going to use the kettle on a stick probably and prop it over top of the fire. It, I may even be able just to set it right on top if I get a strong enough base out of some firewood. And I'm going to boil up probably one or two kettles full of water. 
transfer it out into a pot and a cup, do whatever I need to do that way. That way I have a lot of drinking water on hand because it is rather hot out today. It's pushing 15 degrees. It's going to get a little bit warmer than that. So I do want to stay hydrated and I'm going to need it for some food items as well later on. So let's get the kettle boiled up. Water is not too far away, so that'll be easy. And then I'll have my little water supply and probably make up a drink and kind of relax. Maybe have some dried apricots and whatnot and uh, just enjoy the sound of the creek. Okay guys, I am ready for a test swing. So basically I'm just gonna test out the hammock real quick. I don't like messing around with the hammock setup after dark. 
and I've got some time to kill. I've just had a little bit of lunch. I've had a hot drink. I put a log on the fire, a real punky log, so that's going to smolder away for a little while. But I do want to crawl inside of here and make sure everything's pitched right to where I am hung over water. Making adjustments is going to be very, very difficult in the dark. So I want to do that right now. And I'm probably going to relax inside for 20, maybe 30 minutes and then jump out. And I think it's going to be time to start on supper shortly after that. I do have a steak and vegetables I want to cook over the fire. And I also brought my canister stove to help out with that as well. So I'm going to jump in, relax for a little bit. And then when I get out, it's going to be supper time.
All right, guys, supper is all done, and that was awesome. That steak, peppers, mushrooms, Montreal steak spice, some sea salt, really, really good, especially cooked over that fire and smoked for a little while. That was definitely good. So I have a kettle on top of the fire right now. I'm going to boil that up to add it to my cup and to my pot, because all I have for drinking is cappuccino and water for this trip. So I'm definitely going to be drinking a lot of water. That kettle is going to go into my cup and into my other pot, and then I'm going to boil that kettle up again. I'll have three containers completely full of fresh drinking water. So i got to say, it is definitely quiet out here. The golden light is almost out of the forest right now. I'm down in a really deep cut ravine, and so the sun is way behind the ravine right now, but it's still probably two more hours till sunset. And this is probably my favorite time down in these areas. The birds start coming to life and they start chirping. You got the river, the fire. This is definitely golden hour for me. So I'm gonna kick back and relax and just kind of enjoy this atmosphere and the fire before crawling into the hammock later on tonight. Alright guys, I'm just getting my sleep stuff ready. Basically, I brought with me a little tiny inflatable pillow and of course I've got my top blanket that I'm going to be putting inside of the hammock. I'm just going to get all this stuff set in there now so I don't have to fumble around in the dark because it is going to be dark soon and uh, my backpack is going to actually be hung up in a tree. I'm going to hang it by the little handle here and then I'm just going to take my wax canvas and drape it over top and hike it up into the tree. I'm probably going to put it in this tree or the next tree over. That way I can hear anything. If anything does come by in the middle of the night, uh, I'll be able to hear it and hopefully get up and scare it off. So I don't want anything going away with my backpack. So I want to get all this stuff in the hammock and get ready to relax and basically wait for sunset. Right, guys it is getting dark and I've just finished kind of getting all my stuff put away minus my headlamp flashlight that I just got out because it is going to be dark soon I still have my cup and I still have my other pot full of water which I've been sipping on pretty much for the last hour my backpack is up in a tree so I did put it up quite high and strapped it into the tree I do have a few snacks and food items inside of the hammock that I'm gonna snack on throughout the night while I watch my movie um, but basically camp looks like it's situated so what I did the last time that I camped here is I made a tripod out of three sticks and I hung the tripod underneath of the tarp and that's where I hung my shoes my hat even my backpack I believe and then I had a little table with a clamp that clamped on and then I had an actual movable table this trip I didn't bring any of that so for my actual tripod I'm going to be using the tripod that's holding the camera so the camera is going to go in the hammock with me when I go to sleep and then I want to set the tripod up just underneath the entry of the hammock. And then once I crawl in, I'll be able to untie my shoes, tie them in a little knot, hang them on the tripod, and that should do. That'll keep my shoes up off the, up off the ground. So all in all, I think it'll work out really well. I'm almost out of firewood, and that's no problem, or at least the, the firewood that I processed. That's no problem because I do have two logs here I'm going to put on there. And basically when that burns out, I'm going to be jumping in the hammock movie time and then I'm just gonna doze off and uh, hopefully be up early in the morning 
catch the birds singing, make up a hot drink, and then slowly start the pack up process. But so far this evening is going really, really well and very enjoyable. And the birds, if the camera can pick that up, the birds are in full swing right now, just chirping away. Okay guys, it's about that time. It's now getting dark. I do still have to get the camera put away and get the tripod set up underneath the tarp. And I don't really want to do that when it's completely dark out. Even though I do have a flashlight and a headlamp on, it's much easier to do with a little bit of ambient lighting. So I'm going to be getting the camera off the tripod in the hammock for the night, get everything packed away. And I'm jumping in to enjoy a few movies on my phone and then I'm going to bed. So good night guys. Good morning guys. It is a beautiful morning out here down in this deep ravine. The sounds of the birds that are chirping right now and the flowing water absolutely can't beat it. So last night was a really, really good sleep. I watched one movie on my phone and then I was out completely asleep until the sun was coming up this morning, about 6 a.m. Right now the sun is about to crest over top of this ridge over here so the valley will be lit up with sunlight very soon. I'm just enjoying my breakfast right now. I've got some dried fruit, apricots, prunes, and dried cranberries. And then I've got some cappuccino that I'm drinking. So my area is pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with that because soon I'm going to have to get the whole hammock set up, taken down, brought over here, and then slowly packed away inside of the backpack and start hiking up this creek and out of here. But for now, I'm going to enjoy it.
Okay guys, I'm just in the middle of getting the hammock taken down. I've got the bug net pulled off, the under quilt and my blanket still inside. I figure right now is probably a good way to, uh, to show you guys how I got in and out of the hammock now that everything's out of the way. So crawling over here, I have one rock in the middle of the river that's slightly covered on moss. So it has a little bit of grip to it. My tripod was placed right here. That held my shoes overnight. But basically getting in it is quite tricky because the bug net is a bottom entry net. However, you can pull it up to a door and then pull it over your head and then sit. You just want to make sure you're sitting in the hammock and not in the underquilt because that can end really badly. So how I got in, simply just like this. Not too complicated. Uh, just being very careful, of course. And then up here, I had my flashlight clicked on my ridge line. I have a little bag full of some snacks and whatnot. I got a charge cable up here for my battery bank. And uh, yeah, that was basically it. So kind of tuck in here. Show you guys what it was like when I was sleeping last night. I got the suspension on this loosened off because of course I'm about to take it off the hammock. But like I said, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. And this is me hanging out, sleeping. Alright guys, there you have it. Everything packed away inside of the bag. It was a little time consuming. It took me 10 trips back and forth to set the hammock up, which means it took 10 trips back and forth to tear it down. And I'm very proud to announce not one time did I slip in the water and get wet. So, very happy with that. This is a beautiful area and if you can hammock camp over top of a stream or a creek, I definitely recommend it if you do so safely. I will also mention that this is totally 100% legal in my area. I know a lot of people commented last time saying it's legal to do so. It's actually not. In my area, it's totally allowed and totally legal. So, I'm all ready to go. If you guys have any questions or comments, drop it down in the comment section. I will mention the system that I was using today. I have many components to that brand and they all go together as a unit. I am going to be doing a full review on every piece of kit that I used for the hammock setup plus more. So check that out when it's available. But right now I've got to get out of here. So peace out guys and I'll catch you in the next video.